A vector is a list of numbers. A geometric vector can be represented with an arrow which has both magnitude and direction. The length of the arrow is an indication of the vector's magnitude. Consider this vector in two-dimensional space. If you want to calculate its magnitude, you can make use of some basic geometry, namely Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras was an ancient Greek philosopher and mathematician who recognised a very special property of all right-angled triangles, that is, any triangle with an internal angle of 90 degrees. He said that for a right-angled triangle with sides A, B and C, where C is the longest side, the so-called hypotenuse, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. This formula can be applied to the vector, which you can see is the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. If A is 4 and B is 3, then C is the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared. C is equal to 5. We can indicate that we are talking about the magnitude of a vector by using double vertical bars on either side of the vector's name, like this. A vector with a magnitude of 1 is called a unit vector. Later, you'll see how to convert a vector of any magnitude into a unit vector. A unit vector indicates direction only. In fact, unit vectors are also known as direction vectors. Unit vectors are particularly important in computer graphics to indicate the directions of the faces in a 3D model. Unit vectors are also important in quantum computing when describing qubits. More about unit vectors later. To calculate the magnitude of a three-dimensional vector, a similar approach can be used. Notice that this is a right-angle triangle and the vector is the hypotenuse. Let's label the sides A, B and C. C is the value we need to find. According to Pythagoras, we can calculate C if we know A and B. Well, we know that B is equal to 3 because B is the height of this triangle, which is the y component of the vector. So A squared plus 3 squared is equal to C squared. To get the length of the side labelled A, Notice that we have another right-angled triangle laid flat on the floor, and A is its hypotenuse. The known sides of this triangle are the z and x components of the vector, namely 2 and 7. So, applying Pythagoras again, 2 squared plus 7 squared is equal to A squared. This can now be substituted back into the equation for the original triangle, which gives us a value for C squared, the square root of which is the value of c. You may have noticed here that for a three-dimensional vector, the magnitude squared is simply the sum of the squares of its three coordinates. We can therefore generalise, for any number of dimensions n, the length of the vector v is equal to the square root of component v1 squared plus component v2 squared, plus everything in between, up to and including component vn squared.